Digestion The Accessory Organs of Digestion Chemical digestion in the small intestine relies on the activities of three accessory digestive organs, the liver, pancreas, and gallbladder. The digestive role of the liver is to produce bile and export it to the duodenum. The gallbladder primarily stores, concentrates, and releases bile. The pancreas produces pancreatic juice which contains digestive enzymes and bicarbonate ions and delivers it to the duodenum. The liver. The liver is the largest gland in the body, weighing about three pounds in an adult. It is also one of the most important organs. In addition to being an accessory organ of digestion, it plays a number of roles in metabolism and regulation. The liver lies inferior to the diaphragm in the right upper quadrant of the abdominal cavity and receives protection from the surrounding ribs. The liver is divided into two primary lobes, a large right lobe and a much smaller left lobe. In the right lobe, some anatomists also identify an inferior quadrate lobe and a posterior caudate lobe, which are defined by internal features. The liver is connected to the abdominal wall and diaphragm by five peritoneal folds referred to as ligaments. The porta hepatis, or gate to the liver, is where the hepatic artery and hepatic portal vein enter the liver. These two vessels, along with the common hepatic duct, run behind the lateral border of the lesser omentum on the way to their destinations. The hepatic portal vein delivers primarily uh, partially deoxygenated blood containing nutrients absorbed from the small intestine and actually supplies more oxygen to the liver than the much smaller hepatic arteries. In addition to nutrients, drugs and toxins are also absorbed. After processing the blood-borne nutrients and toxins, the liver releases nutrients needed by other cells back into the blood which drains into the central vein and then through the hepatic vein to the inferior vena cava. With this hepatic portal circulation, all blood from the alimentary canal passes through the liver. This explains why the liver is the most common site for the metastasis of cancers that originate in the alimentary canal or colon. Bile produced by the liver is a mixture secreted by the liver to accomplish the emulsification of lipids in the small intestine. Bilirubin, the main bile pigment, is a waste product produced when the spleen removes old or damaged red blood cells from the circulation. These breakdown products, including proteins, iron, and toxic bilirubin are transported to the liver via the splenic vein of the hepatic portal system. In the liver, proteins and iron are recycled, whereas bilirubin is excreted in the bile. It accounts for the green color of bile. Bilirubin is eventually transformed by intestinal bacteria into stercobilin, a color pigment that gives your stool its characteristic color. In some disease states, bile does not enter the intestine, resulting in white or acolic stool with a high fat content, since virtually no fats are broken down or absorbed. Between meals, bile is produced but conserved. The valve-like hepatopancreatic hampula closes allowing bile to divert to the gallbladder where it is concentrated and stored until the next meal. 
pancreas. The soft oblong glandular pancreas lies transversely in the retroperitoneum behind the stomach. Its head is nestled into the C-shaped curvature of the duodenum with the body extending to the left about 15.2 centimeters or 6 inches and ending as a tapering tail in the hilum of the spleen. It is a curious mix of exocrine, secreting digestive enzymes, and endocrine, releasing hormones into the blood functions. The exocrine part of the pancreas arises as little grape-like cell clusters, each called an asinus, located at the terminal end of pancreatic ducts. These acinar cells secrete enzyme-rich pancreatic juice into tiny merging ducts that form two dominant ducts. The larger duct fuses with the common bile duct, carrying bile from the liver and gallbladder, just before entering the duodenum via a common opening, the hepatopancreatic ampulla. The smooth muscle sphincter of the hepatopancreatic ampulla controls the release of pancreatic juice and bile into the small intestine. The second and smaller pancreatic duct, the accessory duct, or the duct of Santorini, runs from the pancreas directly into the duodenum, approximately one inch above the hepatopancreatic ampulla. When present, it is a persistent remnant of pancreatic development. Scattered through the sea of exocrine asini are small islands of endocrine cells, the islets of Langerhans. These vital cells produce hormones, pancreatic polypeptide, insulin, glucagon, and somatostatin. Gallbladder. The gallbladder is 8 to 10 centimeters or 3 to 4 inches long and is nested in a shallow area on the posterior aspect of the right lobe of the liver. This muscular sac stores, concentrates, and when stimulated, propels the bile into the duodenum via the common bile duct. It is divided into three regions. The fundus is the widest portion and tapers medially into the body, which in turn narrows to become the neck. The neck angles slightly superiorly as it approaches the hepatic duct. The cystic duct is one to two centimeters or less than one inch long and turns inferiorly as it bridges the neck and hepatic duct. The simple columnar epithelium of the gallbladder mucosa is organized in rugae, similar to those of the stomach. There is no submucosa in the gallbladder wall. The wall's middle muscular coat is made of smooth muscle fibers. When these fibers contract, the gallbladder's contacts are ejected through the cystic duct and into the bile duct. Visceral peritoneum reflected from the liver capsule holds the gallbladder against the liver and forms the outer coat of the gallbladder. The gallbladder's mucosa absorbs water and ions from bile, concentrating it by up to 10 folds. The Accessory Organs of the Digestive System begins with the chemical digestion in the small intestine, which relies on the activities of three accessory digestive organs, the liver, pancreas, and gallbladder. The digestive role of the liver is to produce bile and export it to the duodenum. The gallbladder primarily stores, concentrates, and releases bile. The pancreas produces pancreatic juice, 
which contains digestive enzymes and bicarbonate ions and delivers it to the duodenum.